Hey y'all, happy Independence Day! And welcome to my kitchen. I was born and raised in the South, in the city. And now I live in the Midwest, on a farm, and I love it. Other things I love are Jesus, my family, and everything food. I'm so glad you decided to join me today. Happy Fourth of July! It's coming up, y'all. And I want y'all to be prepared for all of those gatherings as we celebrate Independence Day, America! Today we're gonna make something that you can make for all of your gatherings and celebrations this 4th of July. By the way, 4th of July this year is on Sunday. You can go to church in your red, white, and blue, people. I love doing that. Today we're gonna make a good old-fashioned favorite, poke cake. Let me show you what you'll need. Red Jello, Blue Jello, Cool Whip, White Cake Mix, Oil and Eggs for the Cake Mix, and Blue and Red Sprinkles if you like. Hey y'all, happy Independence Day. I love America. I'm so proud to be an American. I hope y'all are too. <laughs> Actually, if people are watching this from other countries, I love culture. I love other countries. My precious son in love burger, as you know, is from South Africa. So, I mean, I love America, but I love other countries too. <laughs> y'all know I'm a planner. I'm also spontaneous, but I like to plan. And so I'm putting this out before 4th of July so you can plan on what to make so that you're not sitting there on 4th of July Sunday morning in church not listening to the sermon <laughs> and planning your party food. <laughs> no, say it isn't so. <laughs> I mean, I never do that. I mean, I'm always taking notes on the sermon. I'm not making notes for my life. I love to take notes <laughs> on sermons, on life, you name it. Okay, we're going to start off just making a good old-fashioned store-bought white cake mix. So, that'll be first. I'm going to put in my cake mix in the Hudson and Henning bowl. I wish I could see my precious nephews Hudson and Henning for 4th of July. We would have so much fun lighting fireworks in the cornfield together. <laughs> Someday. Oil, just like the box says. Water, like the box says. I go ahead and use my cute little cut from Hadoo for the oil and the water and the eggs. Why not? So this recipe is for three eggs. The box also has a recipe for four egg whites, but <laughs> egg two. The chickens have started laying eggs in yet another place <laughs> in the Quonset. Rick was telling me, he said, he was trying to describe it. So I'm going to have to go out and find those eggs. But isn't that funny? They've decided a new place to lay eggs. I decided this week to um, put the mulch back and the dirt back on the sidewalk that the chickens had dug up to find worms. And it was so pretty and it was so hot outside and I was so proud of myself. And the next day they had gone back. So I don't know what to do about that. Praise the Lord, we only have two chickens. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna whip this up. I'm using my white mixer because it's patriotic, <laughs> even though y'all know I love my pink one. I should have probably purchased store-bought eggs because the yolks aren't as bright yellow and I want a white cake to be in the theme of the red, white, and blue. <laughs> but this will be fine. It'll look white enough for your dessert. I'm just pouring this in my 9 by 13 pan. Cake batter smells so good. <laughs> just saying. This is just gonna go in the oven for about 38 minutes at 350 according to the box directions. Then you're gonna make your jello. And I'm just using a box of strawberry and I'm gonna use a box of berry blue. Again, for the red, white, and blue. I'm gonna start off just dumping the red jello into a bowl, pouring that in. Then I'm gonna get my cup of water and I'm gonna boil this in the microwave. You can also do this on the stove. Okay, this is boiling. I did it two minutes in the microwave. Now I'm just gonna stir it until the jello dissolves. It smells so good. Strawberry jello. I like strawberry anything. You can use raspberry, you can use cherry, whatever you like as long as it's red. We had more fun growing up in Fort Smith, Arkansas when we had a circle in the middle of all the houses and all the neighbors would have a parade and it was wonderful for 4th of July and everybody brought homemade ice cream and food and we shot fireworks and it was wonderful. <laughs> it was really fun. I have great memories growing up 
uh, in Fort Smith. And then when I got a little bit older, we moved to Little Rock and I love Little Rock as well, but it didn't have the center circle <laughs> like Fort Smith did. It's really neat. And in parts of cities, you're not allowed to light off fireworks, but in the country we surely can, so we definitely do. And also, our little small town has a giant fireworks show, and I know that other small towns do as well. I love small town America, it's so much fun. I like the cities too, <laughs> I like it all. Now we're going to make our blue jello, and it's not blueberry, it's berry blue. <laughs> You know, berry blue fruit, it's really good for you. Again, I just got this water boiling by doing it two minutes in the microwave. It's so pretty. Then I'm just gonna stir it until it dissolves. This berry blue smells good. I love blue food. I like blue desserts and things. I don't want a blue steak. Although, I have made green eggs before when the girls were little for green eggs and ham. You have to put green food coloring in your eggs for green eggs and ham, because that's just fun. Y'all add one cup of cold water to each of your jellos, to your red one and to your blue one. Then just stir it. Then we'll add a cup to our blue jello. There's nothing like blue jello. How fun. Okay, I took this out of the oven and I'm just gonna set it down and I'm gonna go get my circular wooden spoon. Now comes the part of making this dessert where you find out why it's called poke cake. You get your round ended spoon and you just poke holes randomly or in a pattern, however you wanna do it. It's super fun, it's art, it's a craft. <laughs> ah. Just be sure you get a lot of holes in there. This is super fun, just saying. I think I have enough holes in there. Time to get my jello. I'll do red first. You can do red over the whole thing, or you can do half red, half blue, however you wanna do it. Again, it's art, and just pour it over. I think I'm gonna do half red and half blue. It's turning kind of pink. Win-win. Now it's time for the blue. I got a little bit of blue on my red and it's purple and it's so pretty. Now it's time to put this in the fridge for a few hours to let that jello firm up. Okay, I've let the jello firm up in the fridge. Now it's time to add the Cool Whip on top. Now y'all, again, if you don't like Cool Whip, whip up some whipping cream, but easy cheesy. We're just gonna spread it on top. I don't care what you say about Cool Whip. It's fun to work with. <laughs> just spread it around. Then you can add some fun sprinkles, red and blue, or whatever you love. Totally fun part. I think you could even probably get a stencil of a flag or a heart or a heart and a flag, a star, whatever you want. I thought about going through my rainbow jimmies and taking out all the red and blue ones. <laughs> but that would take a lot of time. So I just went with this. <laughs> Little blue kitty cup from Shani. Now the red. Perfect. Here we are. This is gonna be so good and it's so festive for 4th of July. So y'all have time to get the things to make poke cake and God bless America. <laughs> Thanks so much for being with me today. I hope you have wonderful Independence Day celebrations with your family and friends. Don't forget to thank Jesus and enjoy. See you next time. Right now, the, right now the fire's just in the middle. <laughs>